the image of a fire truck is you can be 100 miles away and you guys know what's coming, you know what I mean? Uh, it has a specific sound, specific look, it brings love, hope, rescue, uh, what it means to be a firefighter, selflessness. You know, we do the job, we're supposed to do the job because we care. The cancer doctor isn't doing the job, hopefully, for his salary. He's really, truly trying to help people that have cancer. When I work at Moffat, people say, listen, that must be a pretty hard job. Um, and yes, I see some pretty tough things, but on the flip side, um, every day I come home and I'm just so inspired by the people I meet. I think it is an amazing, amazing thing. It, I think it is just absolutely raising the uh, awareness. This is such an awesome event. Fire trucks are awesome and they do bring awareness. People do look at them, they see pink, and they do automatically think of cancer. Yeah. And the goal is to have a fire, every fire department in the country should have one pink truck in celebration of women and her family battling cancer. So one day, a woman gets diagnosed with cancer, you're going to get a fire truck with a pink firefighter, show up at the front door, give her a hug, let her know she's loved. Last year when I was diagnosed with cancer and they showed up at my firehouse and I just know what it meant to me. It's very humbling to see the trucks when they when they first arrive with all the signatures on them. It just makes you feel that you're not alone, that everybody else is behind you too. It's kind of a synergy of all the signatures being together that you're not alone in this and it's actually part of your life now. There's a lot of love, people care and we're here. It doesn't matter if there's three people. If one lady comes out and cries and gets to sign her name on this truck and just gets to just share a memory or, 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 or a conquest, I did my job. Help our women first. I mean, that's what it's about. Are we going to get a cure? I know there's great doctors out there. There's actually one of my patients in the audience right now that was caught at a very early stage. She didn't need chemotherapy. Her survival is going to be no different than if she never had breast cancer. That's pretty amazing. It's got a truck and drove. I didn't know if I could make it, but I went. And now look. So that's what it's about. I'm a driver. There's 300,000 signatures on the truck of women and family members who have battled all types of cancer. Every single stop is memorable. The people that we're meeting are amazing. The survivors are amazing. And the stories from, from cancer patients, families as well. There's really no one particular moment. Um, it touches everybody of all ages, shapes, and sizes. So the entire, the entire trip is the memorable moment. I'm asking everybody to get in a pink shirt, show every woman out there battling all types of cancer that you love her. It's March Against Cancer. Join me. It's basically what it is. If you don't do this program, uh-oh, there's a lot of women watching right now. We are definitely going to beat the fight for breast cancer. Cancer in general. It's coming. Tell the cancer.